so Scott just left for work and Phoebe is playing with some Play-Doh. We're waiting for my parents to come over and we're gonna hang out with Mom, Mom and Poppy today. Phoebe has a bit of a stuffy nose, which she hasn't had yeah. since we had COVID in the summer, so I'm panicking because it's 10 yeah. days from Christmas, a few days from Hanukkah and like, yeah. I don't know if it's just like weather related or if she's gotten sick. We've tried to be very careful about germs with her right now, especially this close to the holidays. So I'm not panicking yet, but I'm not calm. She's been getting much better at daddy going to work. We've been working on that. Play-Doh definitely helps. Phoebe's first time seeing anything snowy this season. Hopefully everyone's okay driving. I think it's more just, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that is a kitty cat. Look at that. Uh, hope everyone's okay driving. I think it's like freezing rain, which is kind of scary, but Phoebe, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? started on today's baking let's do a quick chat about what you guys saw us baking earlier so this is my like Phoebe cookie stash recipe is interesting I mean it's not my favorite recipe it's very very sweet I found this recipe when I was looking for egg-free recipes and it's a box of yellow cake mix two sticks of butter and chocolate chips but I did a chocolate chip M&M combo and then let her decorate them they're very sweet though I just wanted to have something as an option for her, especially like this morning, she saw that I had cookies like baked in in like bins over here. And she started asking for one and I like obviously couldn't give her one. So like at least now I have something to offer if she wants a cookie. Because I already made this and I have a lot of editing to do, I'm gonna do like one of my easier recipes tonight, which is my, they're called crinkle cookies. And it uses um, chocolate cake mix. Kind of make the cookies and you roll the balls in powdered sugar and it makes this crinkly looking cookie. It's a very small batch, I will say that. Like this makes a very, very small batch of cookies but they're very soft and moist and I think they're very good. Yeah, so I'm going to make those tonight and then edit a lot. <laughs> So this is the batter before you roll it in the powdered sugar, but I forgot it has to chill in the fridge for an hour. So it will be doing that. And then I'll be back to bake it. I was kindly requested to show you the behind the scenes of my latest bagel creation. So basically uh, I have, let's see here. So this is the bagel. I have tomato here, locks, knife, <laughs> tomato cutting board. Basically, this is so this is a bagel from a bagel place. It's about it's a little far from us. Burke's dad got a deal and had some extra bagels left over, so he gave some to us. And this is like one of the last of them. And that's that. Here is the full batch of the crinkle cookies. Like I said, it's a pretty small batch. So I'm about to package them up and then go to bed. Can you hear that rain? It is so loud and so windy. So the only way, that, or Phoebe's favorite way I should say, 
sees is watch. She's she's chirping like a little bird. Oh oh oh! And there's the finger. You gonna do it? She like scrapes it off with her teeth. Like Grr. there's nothing else there. She's obsessed with. It's like the every, It's like everything bagel seasoning. She doesn't want the bagels. She wants just like a pile of the seeds. But like she wants to bird. eat my finger because there's like still seed residue on it. I don't know. I'm switching it up slightly today during nap time. I'm actually going to pre-make cookie dough today. I'm going to be making my cake batter cookie cookie dough because it needs to chill in the fridge for at least two hours. And I typically only chill it for two hours. I never really do it for longer than that. But today I just, I don't have days where I can just like chill for two hours and then start making cookies. So <laughs> I'm gonna make it. And then I think I'm gonna take it out of the fridge a little bit before I start rolling the dough, just so it's not super hard and it has a little bit of time to warm up. But this dough is like, it needs the time in the fridge for sure. So I'm gonna make that dough now and then do other stuff. I don't typically make cookies during nap time because I worry that she'll wake up before I'm done and I try to avoid anything with egg around her. So I'm gonna try to do this pretty quick. I'm here much later in the day and I'm going to now make these cookies. So this is the cookie dough right here. Something a little different about this specific cake batter recipe is when you make the balls, you kind of make like tall, almost oval shapes that stand up. So when they bake, when they, instead of just being like balls that like explode everywhere, like I guess it's the way they like melt into their shape. I don't know, it works. I'm gonna do this. And then I'll figure out what's next. <laughs> oh, it's recording, you monster. Go ahead. All right, I'll be right back. Nasty. Good? What? Is it good at least? No, no. Good. No, I'm not even not a sample. <laughs> you can have it once it's... One, two, one. Shh, don't wake her. Camera is on. Alright, so I just got back from Wawa. Nobody can hear you. He said he just got just back from, from Wawa. Before I show you... Do you already see it? Just Before I show these. you, this is something that Lisa just got. Lisa she is your sister. Off. Yeah, she just showed off. From Do you Wawa? What it was? Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. I have not seen right. something from she, Wawa. Calm didn't get it toasted. I thought that was a hoagie. Right, but what else did she get? She was showing off to us. Mini oh, melts! Oh, ice cream. Dude, these are so expensive. <laughs> I got these for you, camera. <laughs> <laughs> I got these we'll for you. We'll put them in the freezer so they don't melt. Oh. I, just, I didn't know which one you wanted. They had a whole bunch of types, so I was like. Maybe we can just share them. Can no, some? no, you can't share them. I don't care. I need either. It, he got cookie dough and um, cookies and cream. I need either, personally. Also, not sure how many of you have been to a Wawa before, but they have 
different, three different hoagie size, shorty, classic, what's the other one, junior? Mm. Oh, do you know what each size is? Sizes? I think it's four inch, six inch, and 10 inch? No, because, well, actually, yes. Yeah, what's the full size? The full size is 10. Full size, classic yeah, is 10. Yeah, so a shorty plus a, a junior equals a whole. That's how they cut it. A. So it's four and six, you're right. I think a junior is four. Is four, and then this is a shorty of six. This is the first time I've ever you gotten. You're shorty. This is the first time I've ever not gotten a classic. So, I wanted to document that. Anyone know what, what this is from? Put in the comments. I'm the cookie dough guy, so maybe I should eat oh. the cookie dough. No, we're still not gonna be for why, why don't you put that up there? <laughs> We can just, we can Jessica and Tyler it and just chat Jessica at the end of the night. Tyler. End of the night, we have to chat. You want cookie dough? You made the choice. I'm taking the cookie dough <laughs> and the break is going to do... Cookies and cream. Gonna, this is mini melts, which is, it's basically just like uh, Dippin' Dots. It is Dippin' Dots. But it's totally different. It's just a different brand name. It's ice cream oh. of the future. I remember when I was little, when like Dippin' Dots first came out. There was a kiosk at one mall oh near God. us. Mario's gonna go crazy over this. Ooh, mine is made with love. That's awkward. Yours isn't. Look. <laughs> yeah. How do you uh, get this spoon out? Look at this spoon. I had to it's literally it. like <laughs> hidden I had to dig inside. It. So, I'm telling a, a fable. A fable? <laughs> isn't that like a story of your past? I thought a fable, but like, isn't a fable like a fake? No, I don't tale? think so. Oh, anyway, there was one mall in our area that had a kiosk with a dip and dots when I was little. And I always used to make my parents stop there. It was in a Shamini mall. So you know how there's, there's the movie theater and there's like the big strip and then like each, it was like right at that like uh, when you would like turn to get back mm. into the mall. There was a kiosk that was dip and dots. It was like the only place I knew that sold it. Couldn't just go to your local so Wawa and get mini melts. <laughs> Speaking of that mall, you just remind me. Of, uh, we went to the movie theater there with my cousin once, and I remember he just like parked at the first spot, just and it was at the Boscovs, and I like yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that's where like that's right where it was. It was right at the Boscovs. <laughs> okay, so I didn't I didn't know like the layout or whatever of the mm -hmm. entire mall, but we, I think we walked out of the mo movie, and he's like, oh, we gotta like go to the Boscovs. And we walked, we either made a left or a right the wrong way, and we ended up going around the entire mall, <laughs> walking the entire outside of the mall to find the car, <laughs> and we finally found it. <laughs> it's one of those things that, like, you kind of, you, like, remember, you know, years later. Did I, ever, like, oh, really? did I ever tell you I got kicked out of the Willow Grove Mall ones? No. I was in college, I'm pretty sure, and I got kicked out. Which, like, I didn't know they really kicked people out. All the things I did as a teenager, I got kicked out in college. I'm pretty sure I was in college. Or it was, like, the summer before college. It was the stupidest thing. Uh, also, I was at the mall. You are so messy. Yeah, I yeah. am. What's new? Oh, my God. So, I was at. Who's the messy one in your relationship? I was at the mall with my friend's boyfriend. So I was one does. But, like, we were friends. So, like, it was a platonic hangout. But he was kind of like a, like a doofus. <laughs> Sorry. Was he? I didn't want to pause. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a you really, this is a very similar story to yours. I feel like Jessica and Tyler, when they talk, they look at the camera. Right? Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. He, I was with this guy. They probably don't do it much by style. And he did this weird thing to me where he jumped up and took his shirt and he went <laughs> over my head with his shirt. And God. like we laughed and like kept walking. It was so stupid. Truly, sounds... nobody's ever done that to me in my life before or after. This that. guy sounds like a. Um, he was different. Anyway. It's very. Then literally randomly, like many minutes later, a security guard comes up to us and goes, "I'm gonna have to ask you to leave," and just like takes us to the closest end exit. But what I didn't know about the Willow Grove Mall is like, do you know that you can't like just walk around the perimeter you can't because it's like these giant like hills of like ivy and stuff if you want to like walk around and we were trying to like get to our cars to find our cars and literally we were like climbing up like mountains of ivy and bushes trying to like get up and over and around the mall i like could i couldn't even tell you what exit we were taking out of versus where we parked but it was like 
I didn't think I was gonna make it to my car. It was dark. I was scared. I'm really mad <clears throat> because that was uh, what twelve was, years ago. Probably two thousand seven or eight. Oh, okay, fifteen years ago. <laughs> Ten years ago, I would do laps around the mall. <laughs> no, I've I've on done a that. Bike with, I've done and that, running. But I've done that with you before. That's like far up where the the, the main road the main is. road is. We were just trying to like literally we were wa no, trying to walk to around the actual mall to get to our cars because we parked like near a door near an entrance because that's what you do and like we could, we could not believe how ridiculous it was to just like, get to the next lot so yeah i got kicked out of the mall once in my life so how old you were 20 something i was probably 18 maybe 19. so what i'm hearing is that it was very irresponsible of that mall cop to kick two teens out i agree what i agree we didn't really <clears throat> I could see maybe kicking him out. With no like place stupid. to go. Um, like, did he ask you what your ages were? Mm -mm. Like, if you're 17, you're a minor. Like, yeah, well, I, I don't know. I would think you should call the cops. And, er, call the cops. Well, yeah, call the cops. But um, call your parents and say, like, that they need a um, guardian to take them home. Back then, I didn't have the fears I have today. <laughs> yes. I was a little bit more brazen. I would not want to be alone. <clears throat> not that I was alone. I was with him. But I wouldn't want to be alone in the dark outside that mall anymore. <laughs> Start watching. I win. In the book I'm reading, Mine is Eating, you want to be the last person <laughs> to finish. So I'm working on, on that. Just like with my shorty. He was trying to say he's reading a book called Mindless Eating by... No, never mind. Google it. <laughs> oh boy. Dead air, dead air. Mindless Eating by Brian <laughs> Wansink. A what number book of this? No, that wasn't the right words. You know, dead air, <laughs> dead air. What number book of the year is mindless eating for you? Dead air, dead air. <laughs> One second. No, get out of here, I'm you. Can you get rid of these yeah. while I look this up? So, oh yeah, so I finished too. So, how many seconds later was that? Let us see. Let's go to my audiobook section here. I don't think I've ever eaten an ice cream or something faster than you. So I keep track of all of my books that I'm reading and like when I start, when I stop, and and like just stuff like that. This is number 75 of the year. Now, I talked to a friend about this and basically what we determined is you don't know how long any of these books are like they could have been <clears> one page long so it's the it's like the equivalent of saying like how many times did you leave your house this well, year I know. like I, know. I could have left my house and I, gone I, on a year long mm -hmm. hiatus and oh I only left my house once or you could leave your house a million times right but I don't think the pro the um, I don't think the thing is like oh but that book was only a hundred pages versus like I read one that was 700 pages yet you're still getting the same tally as me I think it's just like an accomplishment to say like you've been reading I have read zero books this year so you got me beat but if you count <clears throat> so like if you count there are probably people that say articles that, that you read like if you read like I don't know Instagram like <clears throat> description or what are they called Instagram what's it called captions captions if you read an Instagram caption that's like you know, pretty lengthy. Like, is that a book? That's a short story? Is it a prose? Is it, like, what is it? Does that count? I think there's probably people also <clears> that <throat> will say that you didn't actually read books and you listened to them. Yes. That really uh, fast speaks I want probably. to note that all of those books listed 75 were, were audiobooks. I kind of did that on purpose. I also have read a couple books. I forget how many. <laughs> uh, like, like, hard, not hard books, but like actual, what do you call them? They're paper books, <laughs> these things, not audiobooks. Yeah, so I like to have that sort of juxtaposition that I... Anyway, I've read, <laughs> I've read a couple of uh, articles this year that said that when you listen to a book, the brain, the people done studies that the brain lights up at the, in the same spots of where you are reading a book instead of listening it's clearly different like you can do other things while you're listening to a book does that say we've been talking for 12 minutes yeah wow that's more footage than i have for the video already <laughs> anyway so what do you think yes we'll leave you at that and you'll see our weekend our fun-filled weekend in the next vlog
So long. I hope I talked clear enough and loud enough. I'm supposed to pretend like I'm in a meeting. <laughs>